Welcome to this overview of the article by A.G. van Veek entitled From Applied Theology to Practical Theology. My name is Kevin Smith and I'm going to be giving you a summary and a few of my perspectives on what I consider to be an excellent article on practical theology. By way of introduction, this interaction provides an interpretive summary of the article by A.G. van Veek from Applied Theology to Practical Theology which was published in Andrews University Seminary Studies, volume 33, pages 85 to 101. Van Veek's article gives an excellent overview of the state of practical theology at the time that he wrote, which was in 1995. It summarizes several approaches and presents in detail the author's preferred approach, which is practical theology as a communicative theological operational science. Don't worry too much if you don't know what that means at this stage. He's going to define it in the article. This view of practical theology as an operational science is the dominant one in South African universities, even to this day. Some key definitions. Van Veek draws a distinction between method and methodology. He says, by and large, a method refers to the way or procedure by which certain aims and objectives are attained, Methodology, on the other hand, denotes the scientific study of methods or procedures in the cause of research. In other words, methodology refers to the overarching theory of methods and procedures, whereas a method is a particular researcher's procedure or way of accomplishing his objectives. Van Veek discusses and rejects what he calls the normative deductive method of theology. What is this normative deductive method of practical theology that he rejects? Van Veek is referring to the traditional model of practical theology as the normative deductive method. In other words, it's the view that we deduce normative truths and principles from our study of scripture this is taken to be the domain of biblical studies, systematic theology, and possibly church history as well. Practical theology then applies these normative principles to life and ministry contexts. In the normative deductive model, practical theology is applied theology. Its role is limited to applying the theoretical observations of other theological disciplines to the life and ministry of the church and especially of the pastor. It is a theory to practice approach. Most modern approaches to practical theology follow a practice theory practice approach, not a theory to practice approach. So Van Veek deems this normative deductive model as an inadequate view of practical theology because it limits the role of practical theology to application. Next, he discusses the operational science approach to practical theology. In place of the normative deductive model, practical theology was reinvented as an operational science using empirical research methods. What does this mean? Van Veek outlines three sub-movements within this. Firstly, the empirical analytical which attempts to render the actions of the church scientifically verifiable through empirical research. Embedded within this operational science approach is the view that we must analyze the actions of the church using empirical methods. Secondly, it involves critical theory. Practical theology must be a critical theory of religiously influenced praxis in society. Once we've empirically determined what's going on in the actions of the church, we must build theories based on that. We must seek to understand the practice of the church. So theory formation is a key part. And thirdly, communicative action. The task of practical theology is to analyze the disruptive communication process. In other words, the idea that the church is not fulfilling its role in society or perhaps is not fulfilling it as effectively as it should. And having analyzed the communicative processes of the church, practical theology should seek to design more successful forms of communication. In other words, practical theology seeks to improve the communicative actions of the church. So three key elements of practical theology understood as a 
operational science. Empirical analytical means we analyze the actions of the church using empirical methods. The critical theory element means that based on our analysis, we form critical theories of what's going on. And then lastly, communicative action, we seek to transform or improve the ministry of the church in society. He then mentions that there are two other approaches that have remained influential in South African theological circles. The two other approaches he calls the confessional approach and the contextual approach. Let's look at them in turn. Firstly, confessional practical theology. In this approach, we study the Bible to formulate theological theory and then develop guidelines for service in the church that are deductively derived from that theory and used to train leaders to serve the church. Practical theology in this model is church-oriented, and you'll recognize that this is a theory-to-practice model. We develop theological theories based on our study of scripture, and the role of practical theology is to apply them to the church, and especially to the pastoral ministry. Secondly, contextual practical theology. In this approach, we study the context and analyze praxis in that context. We use situational analysis of the praxis with the goal of changing society. Scripture may be used, may be used extensively, may be used selectively, and in some theologians' cases, it's not used at all. The use of scripture in this model depends entirely on the theologian's presuppositions and his view of scripture. The focus here is on equipping the community of believers to influence society. Practical theology thus, in the contextual model, is world-centered, outward-centered. These two models, confessional and contextual practical theology, have coexisted with the operational science approach. The operational science approach, however, is Van Veek's preferred model. Van Veek therefore now turns to practical theology as a theological science. He discusses three approaches to practical theology as a theological science. The first one he calls the diaconological approach. This centers on knowledge of God and hence on the word of God in scripture. Human faith, it holds, is too subjective to be the object of study. Therefore, the study focus is the word of God and the role of practical theology again would be on applying the word of God. The second is the empirical scientific approach. This is the opposite end of the spectrum as compared with the diaconological approach. The empirical scientific approach studies human acts of faith in God and does not hold to a confessional approach or view the Bible as a norm of faith. In other words, people who embrace a purely empirical approach to theological research don't hold the Bible to be an authoritative source of theological knowledge. Their interest is purely in understanding and describing what human beings do as acts of faith. Thirdly, Van Veek says there's a mediating position between these two extremes. He calls it the empirical confessional approach. It draws together the empirical element of the empirical scientific approach and the confessional element of the diaconological approach and tries to have a more balanced approach. The empirical confessional approach views theology as the study of people's faith in God and their statements about God. The Bible is still the norm and source, but knowledge of other sciences becomes important in this model. Van Veek prefers this empirical confessional approach to theology, to practical theology in particular, as a theological science. Now, you may recognize in the previous three approaches that, firstly, the diaconological approach is essentially the confessional model, which is also essentially the normative deductive model. It works from theory to practice, and it makes practical theology an applied science. Most would say it reduces practical theology to the role of an applied science, and that's deemed to be inadequate. Rightly so, I think. Second, you should recognize that the empirical scientific approach is the radically liberal approach. It trusts only empirical data. 
and does not accept revelation. In particular, it does not accept the scriptures as being the word of God. Thirdly, you should recognize that the empirical confessional approach is a hybrid that combines empirical research with confidence in scripture as God's revelation. This is Van Veek's view of the form that practical theology should take as an operational science. And I would have to say that I agree. Van Veek briefly discusses theology as an empirical science. Practical theology used to be just the application branch of theology and it had no independent field of study and it made no contribution to theological content or theory. That view has been almost universally rejected within modern practical theology. Nowadays, we tend to see practical theology as a science, a branch of study that offers a scientific description of certain events, processes, and actions. This process of describing, using scientific methods, events, processes, and actions makes practical theology an empirical science. Practical theology is not only an empirical science, according to Van Veek, it is also an operational science. Practical theology is the branch of theology which studies Christian praxis or Christian actions. It is an operational science because people's religious beliefs and actions and the operational fields created by them, such as worship, celebration, service and instruction, are the objects of scientific study. When they speak of operational science, they are talking about scientifically studying Christian actions and practices related to operational fields like worship, celebration, instruction, etc. Van Veek then builds that out by saying that practical theology is a communicative, theological, operational science. This is probably still the dominant view of practical theology in South Africa. But what does it mean? Christian actions, both words and deeds are considered to be actions. Christian actions in service of the gospel communicate. Therefore, they are communicative actions. Practical theology seeks to understand, explain, and theorize about these communicative words and deeds, communicative actions. Practical theology, then, studies actions intended to communicate faith, both actual faith and preferred faith, both real actions and preferred actions. As a communicative theological operational science, practical theology studies the communicative actions of Christians and churches in order to understand them, explain them, and improve them. Therefore, practical theology must do certain things. Firstly, it must cooperate with all theological disciplines, drawing on their perspectives regarding communicative action in service of the gospel. Practical theology, more than any other branch of theology, draws together the various theological disciplines to provide perspective on Christian action in society. Secondly, Practical theology must assume an ideal ethical communication situation. This is Habermas's theory of communicative action. Habermas's theory is a real significant moment in the theory of practical theology. We don't have time to go into it here, but you need to familiarize yourself with Habermas's theory of communicative action, which is central to the way many practical theologians think about the role of practical theology as a communicative theological operational science. The idea is simply that practical theology must look for an ethical and ideal way to effect change in the actions of the church. And thirdly, practical theology must value empirical data in seeking to understand, explain, and develop theories of action. In conclusion then, Van Veek's article presents the view of practical theology that is dominant in South African universities. Practical theology as a communicative theological operational science. He views this as bringing together what is best in the confessional and the empirical approaches and providing a sound scientific foundation for practical theology. <laughs>
I encourage you to read his article studiously.